we have completed the implementation of catalog service uh, APIs and in this video we are going to focus on dockerizing the catalog service and we are going to uh, configure docker compose files so that we will be able to run entire catalog service both the service and its dependencies like uh, postgres using docker compose and then through github actions we are going to build a docker image and then publish it to docker hub so let's get started i have created a card to dockerize our catalog service and this contains four subtasks here so first we need to configure our Spring Boot Maven plugin to create a Docker Im image with this name seoprasadridi slash bookstore catalog service. And then in order to publish our image to Docker Hub, we are going to create an access token and then we are going to configure the Docker Hub credentials as secrets in our GitHub repository. Finally, we are going to use our GitHub actions to build the Docker image and then push it to Docker Hub. So let's uh, start with Spring Boot Maven plugin configuration. Usually, if you are uh, trying to build a Docker image, usually you will create a Docker file and then you uh, specify the steps you want to perform and then you run docker build minus f docker file and you will give it a name. But uh, Spring Boot Maven plugin and even Spring Boot Gradle plugin makes it very simple that you don't even need to create a Docker file. Behind the scenes, Spring Boot Maven and Gradle plugins, they use cloud native build packs and build a Docker image. So we don't need to create a Docker file itself. So let us see how we can uh, use the Maven plugin, Spring Boot Maven plugin and create a Docker image. So first let us uh, create a custom uh, image name here let us configure it so here i am opening palm.xml of our uh, catalog service so here i am creating a property called uh, docker image name and here i am giving my docker hub username seo prasadriti slash bookstores um, hyphen the project id artifact id so it is going to be like seo prasadriti slash bookstore catalog service and then I'm going to configure my Spring uh, Spring Boot Maven plugin here to build the image with the custom name. So here, if you don't specify any custom name, it is going to take uh, whatever the project artifact ID and version it is going to create uh, with that name. But here we want to create a, uh, with a custom name. So we are specifying that different name here. And one thing to remember is by default, a uh, Spring Boot Maven plugin is going to uh, use build packs and create a uh, Docker image that is um, suitable for AMD architectures. But right now I am using Apple MacBook, which is a ARM architecture based. So in order to uh, customize and make it uh, work for my ARM based architecture, I am going to use a different builder which is going to create a uh, Docker image that is compatible with my ARM architecture. If you are running on Linux or uh, Windows, I don't think you need to configure this. But if you are on Mac uh, M1 based uh, laptops, you should be able to configure this and build the Docker image. So with this configured, now let us go to our console and how we can build a Docker image. So here, I am using this command munw pl uh, catalog service that is to specify the uh, submodule. So here I am specifying catalog service submodule and I am using spring hyphen boot colon build hyphen image. So this is the uh, plugin goal that we can run to build a Docker image. And while building the Docker image, I don't want to uh, run the test, so I am skipping it. So now I am running this command and as you can see behind the scenes it is going to uh, use cloud native build packs and then it is going to build a docker image. So here if you are running it for the first time it is going to take some time to download all the dependent uh, tools and then it is finally successfully built the image and it gave this name seoprasadriti slash bookstore catalog service and latest tag. So this is how simple we can create a Docker image for Spring Boot applications. So the first one is done. We are able to configure that and we are able to build this. So next thing is create a Docker Hub access token. So I have logged into my account and if I go to my account page 
and here if you go to security tab here you can uh, create a new access token so here you can give some description and then you can specify a read write delete or read write only what are the permissions you want to give at least we need to have a read write and you can generate a token and once the token is generated copy that token uh, value and we are going to go to our code repository here and go to settings and if we take a look at secrets and variables and actions so here we are going to create a repository secrets so the first one is our docker hub username so my docker hub username is seva prasad Reddy. and i'm going to create another one docker hub token so here i'm going to paste my uh, secret value or docker hub token access token so i will update it later so once i created these two i should be able to uh, use there is a github action called login action we can use this uh, login action and then we are able to log in into our github account or sorry docker hub account so let us copy this and go into here so after building our application we are going to log in into docker hub and then we specify docker hub username and docker hub token so here we successfully login into our uh, docker hub account so next is we are going to uh, build docker image and then push it to docker hub so let us see how we can do that so here we have added another step to build and publish the docker image here we are running the same uh, spring boot build image uh, uh, go and then we are skipping the test and we are finally once uh, this image is uh, ready we are pushing same username slash this is the name it is going to uh, be creating right so we are pushing this image to docker hub so one thing to remember is we don't want to uh, do this for every uh, branch only whenever the code is merged to uh, main branch then only we want to perform these two actions logging into docker hub and so we are going to add this if condition that says only if the uh, current branch is main then only we are going to perform these two steps so this is how you can uh, configure your github actions to login into docker hub and then build the docker image and push it to docker hub so our github actions configuration is also ready but before pushing it to our uh, code repository first let us locally uh, build the uh, docker image and then uh, run entire application in docker compose and then verify everything is fine or not in our deployment docker compose folder we already have uh, infra.ml where we are going to create all the uh, dependent services like catalog database order database and uh, key clock rabbitmq in this infra.ml file and all of our uh, application services like catalog service order service they are going to be defined in apps.ml file so here I'm uh, I'm configuring the catalog service like this. As we have seen, uh, we are going to use the image Seoprasad Reddy slash bookstore catalog service. So this is how uh, this is the name we have given uh, to our catalog service. Okay, and here we are giving the container name as catalog service, and we need to provide some environment variables to be able to connect to the database. So earlier, if you take a look at our application at properties of our catalog service, we are specifying uh, db underscore URL as a environment variable. If this value is present, it is going to take this. Otherwise, it is going to take this default URL. But now that we are running both database and our uh, catalog service in Docker containers, 
so the names will be uh, different it is not going to be localhost it is going to be the container name of uh, database so we can override uh, these properties using environment variables so spring boot already provides one mechanism where if you want to override any of its configuration properties we can provide them as environment variables but with a uh, capitalization and using underscore instead of dot so for example we can override like this so underscore uh, capitalized and instead of dots underscore you can provide this value like this but however i personally prefer to configure our application properties like this with some uh, language independent way like uh, whether you are using spring or uh, some other framework or some other programming language it shouldn't matter so simply you can configure the environment variable using db url db username and db password like that so that is why i have given um, configuration like this so now instead of configuring the environment variable like that we can use db url equals to jdbc postgresql and here this name is whatever the name we have given to this container so this is the container name okay this is going to become the host name so that is what we are going to use and also the port is containers port not the port that is mapped to host not 15432 it is 5432 so both containers are running inside a docker so we are going to take this as the host name and this as the port number okay so that is what we configured and also configured db username and db password like this and this service is running on 8081 and i am also mapping it to host 8081 and also here i am mentioning this service is depending on catalog db based on the condition that service healthy which means when you run this service it is going to wait for catalog db to be up and running and also healthy so here we have defined some health checks so it, until it is fully up and running our service is going to wait and then start the application and finally here we are uh, limiting how much memory it should take uh, by this container okay so this is all for now going forward whenever we are adding a new service we are going to add more and more uh, services to this uh, apps.ml file okay so now we have our uh, configuration everything is ready like earlier we have used a task file so that we don't have to manually run all those commands right so similarly we also going to expand this to run the services as well earlier we have defined infra dc file now let me add apps dot ml file and earlier we have defined build just verify but we are going to actually run uh, spring so catalog service and spring hyphen boot colon build image minus d uh, skip test so when we run build it is going to run this one and it is going to build the docker image next similar to how we have start infra stop infra and restart infra we are going to create start stop restart commands that is going to start not only infrastructure related things but also our applications so how we can do so i am removing this infra and here earlier we mentioned only um, infra.ml file but when we run just start we want to run not only infra but also our application so here i am going to change apps so let me add this to here here as well so basically for docker compose you can specify multiple files minus f and file name minus f and file name so i am simply using that and for restart again i am stopping it first and then sleep for some time and then starting again so with this uh, one thing i would like to do is whenever i run start i would also first 
run this build command so how we can do that so like this first we are uh, specifying the dependency so whenever i call start i would like to first build it okay now let us go to console or terminal here and first let us make sure uh, containers are not running so first here let me remove it okay so now let us check simply by running task start so first it is going to build the docker image here so now both the catalog db and catalog service started so now let us go back uh, and here you can see both of uh, these containers are running now let us verify whether we can uh, make an api call here so here i am calling localhost 8081 slash api slash products so here i am able to get the response and let me test for getting one product okay so i am able to access this one also so locally for running uh, both catalog service and then uh, dependent uh, db is now as simple as running task start so if you make any changes and you want to restart simply call task restart so it is going to be uh, very handy during the development time i have pushed the changes into our repository and automatically the github actions pipeline got triggered so here you can see it uh, ran all the tests and everything and then it is able to log in into our docker hub account and then it built the docker images um, catalog service and then finally push to docker hub so here so it is successfully be able to uh, build and push the image to docker hub now let us go to uh, my account and then when i click on the repositories here i can see bookstore catalog services published into my docker hub account so that is how we can completely automate this uh, building and pushing the image so uh, i think we are done with building the catalog service for now we are done performing all these subtasks, so I am marking it as done and I am moving it to done lane. So uh, I think that's all for catalog service. In the next video, we are going to start working on order service.